want for your community. So um, is this plan really downtown? very much is now a tool for you. Is the pool in the downtown district? It's on the edge of it. It's and not in it. It's, it's, not, it's not in a, this study district because we study business no, zone property. No, but I mean property. it isn't in the downtown district. No, but the school is. Okay, the, the school in the parking lot, those public facilities, the public um, the safety building, that is in the business district. Okay, but I just want to, so, I want to be clear that I wasn't reading it incorrectly. No, uh, it's I right on the edge. I get a copy of the, so. um, uh, your letter to the selectmen and uh, uh, explanation of what the, your mission statement was and your, your goals. And the, the issue I have is that, uh, well, I've got it written down here, uh, HTC stated goals include funding the downtown master plan, land use development, developing the downtown septic study, and promoting the economic development of areas beyond the downtown. All planning function, functions, which should be more appropriately be presented by the planning board. It seems to me that that's, it's, these are all planning board issues. And so why you're reporting to the selectmen and not to the planning board doesn't make sense to me. It's, he it's, had to go before the selectmen right. up to, to request yeah. funding, financing. Well, that, it was, that, that was, that was, a, part that of was a special, a different piece. That was for financing. The financing should be coming yeah. from a, a warrant that goes to the town. Right. That's exactly right. And that's, that's fine. It that, that's that's was just for yeah. the financing part of it. But that can be supported still by the planning board. In fact, I think it should be supported. That you know, if you come to the planning board and say, "Look, these are things that we want to want to do," you know, we're we're on your team. Which, I mean, we're, we're which Rob, Rob, we will. That's what this is about. I, I, That's what this seems is about. To be, we will. No, 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 no. We we haven't gotten to the point of bringing the bylaw changes yet. We we just got this plan a week or week and a half ago. Well, you, you're sending letters and you're doing things to the selectmen. You know, I, I, didn't send, I didn't send, I, the only the reason we sent a letter to the selectmen was to request the warrant article and the uh, meals tax money, as we did last year and the year before. Did you not get your charter from the, the selectmen? No, no, it came from the citizens of the town and it had to be approved by the state legislature. Right. And, and who, who, who set that up? I'm sorry? Who set that up? Tell me. The um, Economic the Development the Committee in conjunction with the selectmen in conjunction with the selectmen. Um, decided Why was there no nothing that came to, to the planning board for it? Well, I can't answer that question. Um, so well, it started, I can, because it started from the master plan. And the master plan, as a result of wanting to create additional initiative, said let's form a downtown development committee. And that was what the selectmen were to a point, about five. There's an agricultural soils committee, there's a bunch of other things. And they, they did, and they complied with the master plan. So now we've got disaggregated some of the work that planning board doesn't have time to take care of all of those things. So we should still have oversight, too. Well, but that's we were trying to enlist more people. You've got two people on that board. We only have one on the community preservation um, committee. Um, maybe we should have them report to us and I just don't, don't sure. I don't it's megalomania to me to have everyone report to the planning board we're trying to initiate um, new ideas and new people getting involved but we're not as a I feel as, in, as a member of the planning board I'm not getting information about all these other things that are happening in town and I think the only way to, to make sure that we do get well, that you've information got two representatives who can report to you who can report to us, but what have we gotten? That's what I'm saying. That's well, then, part of what I'm then saying. Then criticize that, but don't criticize you, the organization necessarily. Because well, I'm on the, the patent organ. committee, for yeah, example. Yeah. Yeah. You and I try to tell you when, whenever there's something in, is being initiated. Right. But uh, you, you guys ask for the HTC to report every so often, and we've done that at least a couple, two, three times now. Yeah. I did ask for, right. for something in writing, and I have never gotten anything. Which right. was not that long ago. Right. We had which, this discussion, yeah. both of you. So you can. No, I'll, 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 said, I'll, I'll, I'll disseminate this to everybody. Right? They, they just got that email. Yeah. Just send an email. Yeah. But they got. It was part of the meeting, meeting package. I'm the saying. But, no, Christine. I'm just saying this yeah. is not new. I have. But asked also, in the past, right. I've asked in the past if we could have something in writing, because well, when people minutes. ask me about what's the planning on the downtown, I go, I don't know. I don't send, know. Send you the so it is. It, it, I look like an idiot now. The oh. fact that this thing is on the planning board site 
And people say, so Claudia, what do you think of the plan? I go, I, I, I don't know. I have to go look at it. It's not appropriate as an elected official. And if it's you're just doing not hold on, like, just, just one second, one second. Yeah. We've talked, Rick and I have both talked about the MAPC, the grant, everything I just mentioned, the four public workshops. We've talked about it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We invited everyone to those meetings. And how many people? Every time. How many people on this board came to the meetings? I did. I did too. So. That's yeah. very important. Yeah. 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 We, have, we have. We have not. We have not. Yet. No. Well, you know. We well, can't, I, can't, I, I can't. I hey, can't Rick, change, Rick, I can't let's change don't, how let's you don't, don't, don't play that game. Okay? Let's don't play that game. Okay. I'm can't. just saying it would be nice to get something in writing, and it would also be nice to have some sense. And this is not megalomania, but it would make sense that the HDC does has some uh, reporting responsibility to the planning board well, because it, at the end of the day, doing. it's the largest planning of this town in the next five years is what's happening downtown. So if we sent you the minutes, would that be good? That would be good. That's that's helpful. I don't but, but, it, it, but it does not change the well, right. No, Claudia, I'm sorry. You don't get to stand up and criticize the reporting. I'm not criticizing yes, you. you. No, are. I'm, not, I'm asking. You are telling I am us you. that you are not happy. And you've received. You what? are not happy with the communication. This is the first thing. This you are not. But you, you didn't ask for this that long ago. And we've given verbal How long updates. ago did I ask for it? A couple months. Claudia. We're trying to comply with your request. Like this board, we are volunteers. We have a part-time staff. We are trying to do many things at the same time. We're not consciously excluding anybody. We're happy to send you the minutes. We're happy to sit down with you and talk to you about what's going on if you'd like a personal briefing. Um, there's just so many hours in the day and so much information that we can get to each individual member. So if you have a constructive suggestion on how we can communicate better to you and make you more comfortable, then let's do it. Let's, I just don't me, like these me, broad Let sides. me paraphrase something. I've been trying to, I, I made a pledge at the last land boards meeting that I would be paying particular, the planning board would be paying particular attention to the Gulf Station operation. And you're heavily opinionated in that, which you and I happen to agree on. Yeah. Right? You can imagine that. I know. <laughs> um, and it was agreed by this board that it would be better that you and Brian uh, tackle Cumberland Farms. And then I got it back from Christine, which was quite appropriate, that Bill Geness, is it? Geisness. Geisness. Ge 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 Geisness. Because the two of you might have to vote on something, it would be better that he he tackle Cumberland Farms. But that's the last I heard of it. And, yeah, I've, and I've asked for the last three meetings, I've put it I put a report from the HDC. Now, I'm not criticizing. Please, I'm, just, I'm trying to help move the ball along. Yeah, all right? Right. Don't, don't go get angry with me I'm not, because, I'm I, not, because I'm not, I, I I'm want not, something. I'm not. I, 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 it's not me that wants it. It's the process that needs it to, to, right. to keep my pledge to the land boards, which is in turn a pledge to the town. Got it. I, I want to... I want it. The planning board wants to be, uh, my object of the planning board is to get out in front of the Gulf Station thing so that we don't end up with something horrible. Yeah, I and, agree. And that's that's the only goal. I don't get anything personal out of it except Sam that runs it's a good guy. You know, and, I couldn't agree and more. So how, uh, how, um, how is the planning board going to get a report, an up-to-date report on the, on the, on the, on the, on the Gulf meeting. Station. Well, in fact, the Gulf uh, people uh, took off on their own. We, you know, made some inquiries about having discussions, and they had been doing a lot of planning in, on their own. And the, before we knew what was going on, they contacted Christine and said, "We have a plan. We would like to talk to you about." for the renovation and expansion of the Gulf Station. 
and they want to make a formal submission to the planning board of that plan. When? Uh, March. 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 So they're going to come to the planning board with a complete set of drawings, schematics, but diagrams. What about the soft sell? That was why you wanted to intervene before they well, became... Well, they, they were way down the road. We were like in catch-up mode. Yeah. They were, you know, we're going, would you like to talk? And they're going, oh, we're, you know, we didn't pursue it because we had several other things going on. And they said, we got a plan coming, and it'll be coming before the planning board. And so we said, okay, so um, we're not going to intervene. We're going to wait until they come before the formal body to present. It would have been nice if the board was informed of that process, of that well, timing. Well, we just I, found I, out Ed, about Ed, it. Ed, you know what, Ed, we, we have talked about this at planning board meetings. And you've asked, and what I said was that we had Bill Geisness on the HDC um, to be the person to reach out to a property owner because these two are board members and might permit something. Oh, I know, I agree. But I have no problem Bill, with that. In, in all honesty, Bill and I were both waiting for the consultant's report. It's easier to pick up the phone and call a property owner and say, we have a vision, oh, but it's not in print yet. You know, we're waiting for the consultant to finish things up. And um, the consultant was delayed for two weeks processing plans when the Hurricane Sandy money came in. It delayed some things at the state level because those people needed their money. And I told the consultant to help the people with the Hurricane Sandy funds, and we could wait two weeks. So January, the report came out. At the exact same time, Cumberland's called staff, which is normal function. They call, and I said, by the way, can you look at this plan online? This is our vision. These are our design guidelines that we're looking for in the future, and this is where we want to redo a crosswalk. This is a cornerstone piece in our downtown. They quickly looked at all of that. Within that week, they met with myself and the building inspector to go over our dimensional requirements, site plan review requirements. They'll be submitting something that I think you'll all be very pleased with. I went through the file with them on the Gulf Station sign and canopy issue. But, um, all of these things at a staff level, because you get to choose the permitting, but I just I provide them with what you have produced for visions and documents. So we, that's we happening. Can't. We can't on this board work in a vacuum. It but you're not. Be, Your it, visions are there for the developer. When they call, that's what I do. I say, but, this is what they want. We're part of that. You're right. You're going to no, have you, you you're created that. All your ideas are in there. But I don't want to be after the fact. I don't want you're to have to build something ugly there. You're going to be in front of it. No, they've already yeah. got it hidden. And you, as a permit reviewer, you have a specific the, role the, the, when it comes to the lease of the of the Gulf Station. Tells me there's a million dollars being spent by by Cumberland Farms on on a on a on a new design, building a new pro product on the back of the property. Yep. Yep. All right. Now, and I reported that here. Yeah. All right. A long time ago. Now yep. that was a long yeah a long time ago, months ago. And, and here we are, and I'm, I'm just terribly afraid. And, and Rick, you, sh you and I should be hand in hand on this. We are. It's, it's terribly afraid that there's going to be some great ugliness built there, and you and I are going to be saying, what the hell happened? And well, that's, I, what I, that's what I want to I understand to put your in. concern, and um, uh, I haven't seen their formal plan yet. I've only been referred to say, look at. Menden, Medway and Lexington, and Lexington as what they're proposing. No. Uh, this is going to come before the board. Awesome. They're going to have to make if a you presentation. To, look, I guess you guys got to understand. I actually have a full-time job. I serve on two boards. I have a primary care. I'm not. For an I'm ailing brother. I have no I doubt have your, dedication, your dedication. Your dedication is, is okay. enormous, I and I appreciate that. I don't have a lot of that. time to sit and hold your hand and give you all the information. No, that's, not not asking, that's not We're not polite. asking for that. That's, that's not polite, Rick. That's not polite. Please don't, don't say something that. Like there that. isn't one of us that's here that doesn't polite. have, really have that's some that's not polite. Well, tough that's obligation. Wait, 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 wait. Now, let me let me finish. Does any one of us has Every, every human being over 50 years old has got some kind of a cross that they're bearing. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry about your brother. I'm sincerely sorry about you, and I've, and I've indicated to you that I, that I am. But the fact is, I work seven days a week. I have a job the same way and right. so forth. Right. And, and uh, I'm, I 
try not to whine about it and I try to meet my obligations. Right. I'm saying if there is a way to smooth out the reporting, call it reporting, calling it information passing way of, of improving what we're doing, then let's do it. And I, I, and I, I think, make, that, and can I, I make, make one suggestion? Can I make a suggestion here? Yeah. Because it seems to me that it's back to what I initially was saying, which is if your authority is the selectmen and not the planning board, then we're in trouble because uh, we're, we're left out of the loop on that. When it comes to issues that uh, cover both and, and your functions in the HDC are mostly planning issues, when it comes to us having any kind of uh, say on, on what is going on with um, the HDC, both you and Brian should be excluded from the discussion because you're on another board reporting to somebody else. That'd be fine with me. <laughs> Well, but that's, but that, that, that's inefficient. Uh, that's inefficient. It seems to me you're, the efficiency of this would be to have the authority that, you know, as the planning board. I've got to tell you guys, you sit here and talk about all the things that's you changed. should know about, all yeah, the reports you should be getting. I don't know who you think is going to do all this work for you. We have a part-time 30-hour coordinator who is overwhelmed. You guys are saying, well, I want this report. I want that report. I should have this. I don't know where you're going to get this. What bothers me about the uh, report that's come out that uh, you were leafing through, the, the study from the MDC, is that it gives an image MAPC. MAPC of what that corner should look like. I'm afraid that they no. might interpret it that way. And right. that's the only objective thing that we have an image on. It's too bad we didn't do a correction of three other images for that corner, which might be a little bit more, as you said, in keeping with what the image that the town would like. That, that's the purpose of the plan here, is to, to give you, you say, all right, I, I see the picture in there. I like this piece of it. I don't like that. That's the kind of thing that your board you now, because you now all have the same picture in front of you and yeah. the same recommendations, you say, you know what, these features are not great well, for we Hamilton. Well, we're going to try and beat them to the punch. That's the problem. We didn't get Jeff, I promise Jeff can speak. Please, Jeff. I just, um, I understand what different people are saying here. I just want to make clear that I, I find no fault in, in any lack of reporting. I think that what may, may make sense is that we include agenda items more routinely uh, on each of our meetings for an update from HDC, an update on anything that any of us have any questions about. Um, I, I just just put it in there and give these guys a chance to report. But if, if we have a meeting and the agenda doesn't have HDC on it, uh, and they don't therefore report because they're not on the agenda, we're dealing with things we're leaving here at quarter 12 at night or whatever. With we my can't, apologies that HDC has been on the last three meeting agendas, but we we run out of time. So that you see know. that's that's my point. I don't that's think it's stable. fair to criticize anyone for not well, giving us information when we haven't had time to deal with it in our meetings. I'm not so. criticizing Jeff, but no, I, I have not. to I have to live with reality. Sam at the Gulf Station, the tenant to the the tenant is a friend of mine and I respect him as a businessman. He's moving over to Welch and Lampson's and then we do this uh, condominium complex or something on top of top of Lampson's property and he's on the phone to me climbing up one side of me and down the other. What are you doing with my property? You know, and, and So my, my point is I have to pay Billy the Dunce. Why don't, why don't we put agenda items, build them into our agenda for HTC and Gulf Station and anything else to give people a chance to talk about it at a given meeting instead of getting to the point now where suddenly we haven't had a chance to talk to it and then people are wondering what's going on. I think that makes sense. That's proactive. Yeah. And uh, the chairman has tried to do that and we'll keep it up, I would think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not criticizing anybody, but I'm just saying that's, that, you know, if we have time, we have time. If we don't, some of these meetings, we just go too late, we don't. Uh, do you, are are you, how do you feel about the reporting to the selectmen versus the uh, planning board? I wasn't here when HTC came in. I, well, I was in town, but I, I wasn't aware. Of, I wasn't involved in that. It is what it is. I look at it. It's, it's established. I don't think we have established. It's pretty young. Rob, the Rob, the other, the, there's two reasons they were reporting to the selectmen. Yeah. Um, one of them was they were um, they were asking. They don't have as as an uh, quasi public entity outside of town hall 
They don't really have the authority to ask for a warrant article. A planning board or a citizen petition or the selectmen can prepare and present a warrant article. The HDC doesn't technically have standing, so they had to ask permission for that of the selectmen. So that was one reason they were before them. In the act that your town meeting voted on that created their articles of incorporation, annually they are required to report to the board of selectmen on their activities. So that was part of their annual report to the selectmen of what they've been doing and they were requesting an appropriation of the meals tax to be put to town meeting. So they had two reasons to be there so by would, law. So would it take a, a, an article in the warrant to dissolve the corporation and then have them report to the... No, it would have to and go to the Any list. change of that HDC entity would actually... You can modify it in some ways in your town meeting, but then it has to go before the legislature as well because it has been authorized by your state legislature. And it's specifically designed to be separate from town government. Well, who elects, the, who appoints the board of directors, and how for how the long selectmen. the term? The selectmen. There's, there's staggered terms. They one to three, three, one to three years, and that's specified in the act as well. So they're and appointed by the selectmen. And I think I have their term uh, closing yeah, you, dates on their web page. You do. They're funded by town meeting. Yes. Jeff, town meeting. Uh, but you've had your hand up. Yeah, I just want to say I do not speak for the Board of Selectmen. I speak as one individual selectman, and I can just say in terms of, I think we're getting into semantics where you're talking about reporting or whatever the case may be. But it is very difficult for me, kind of as a big picture person, to hear that the HDC is making an offer on a piece of property in town and find out that the planning board has absolutely no idea about that. Okay. So that's, I think, where we're, we're, we're running into conflict. You all are elected by the people of this town. There's a check and balance system in place here that we're counting on you all for. So I think that's where we're getting into I have a really hard time as a selectman when I found out early on about the gas station, went to my planning board because I thought you all were the ones that could get in and start these conversations early on. I think what we're all trying to do is get ahead of the curve and get ahead of when Cumberland Farm comes and puts the papers down on the table because we know a lot of work's already been done and a lot of that's hard to reverse. The whole idea was six, seven months ago for this board to engage with Cumberland Boards or Cumberland Farms so that we could avoid that conflict. And I'm hearing that for whatever reason, this planning board couldn't do that. So I, I think where the conflict here, guys, is whether it's reporting, whether whatever the case is, we've got the left hand doing and the right hand doing, and neither one knows what the other is doing, and we're not going to be able to be successful as a town growing as long as we can continue to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the HDC, I think, is making a mistake if they do not value the planning board, and it's a pain. I'm not saying I'm not saying maybe you do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The impression is, however, the impression is that it doesn't because it's not coming to the planning board and talking about things like Matt's shoes. It's not coming to the planning board about some of these. Uh, have you have you yes. talked to the planning board? Oh, really? Matt's we shoes. Have, we have re we've talked about McCray before. Matt's shoes. I mean, McCray property. I mean, McCray well, property. I never. I don't know what he's talking. About. I don't either. I don't know. This, I, I, that's my point. This is, we've got an Hamilton Development well, Corporation going out, making an offer on a pretty significant piece of property in our downtown, and our planning board has no idea. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we've, true. we've talked about it because that's an idea that we've had for at least a decade, right. but Mac didn't want offers at a certain point, but now maybe but he you made may. An offer on it? We Why came we before the selectmen and suggested setting up a straw. At one point, um, Peter Britton and Mark Johnson and other people were to sort of do it, and I've talked to Mac a number of times. <coughs> that we all sort of play different roles in different ways because we wanted to get some control for a parking area and a downtown process. process so what, I, don't need, I, did, I didn't know they made an offer on it. What, what's the point of this? <clears throat> the offer is for Mac Gray's property, his house, and his business for um, $600,000. He wanted to keep, this was a by, by requirement, you keep this quiet because you're negotiating with right. a private party. That's why we had a straw. You talked about it at the HDC meeting, the last one I attended. 
Correct. public member. Correct. So I don't know. So why would you hold it from this board? I. We're not I withholding. Have, well, no, but I thought that was your argument. That's all. No, I'm just saying, Matt is a very prickly character to deal with. And we went in and out of negotiations. He's walked away from the negotiations. Excuse he told me, us I he wasn't going to do thing. anything. He, we were trying to respect his privacy and keep this focused on purchasing this piece of property. We have no plans to do anything with it yet. We once, if we get financing for it, and if it actually closes, then we will dis begin development of a plan for its redevelopment. It could be park, it could be parking, it could be residential, commercial. We don't know. Who's we? We're but why just wouldn't you talk to us? Why? I mean, you could just say this is private information. I, I just I'm astounded that I wouldn't know about it, that I'd have to hear about it from somebody else. Okay, so it's perfectly appropriate to come to this board and have us go into executive session so it stays private if, and right. it's, if, it's, if it's negotiating a price. You know, you've now got it on TV, so... <laughs> I know. Listen, and it's been, it's been on, on the HTC's agenda since what? This yeah, November? this is... No, November. November. Listen, November. again, so let's say you now knew it. What would you be doing differently? Encouraging you. I'd just like yeah, to know. Yeah, that's all. I'm interested. I would, I would I feel, we would feel we know what's going on in and town. And so now you do know. I mean, I have a project. That's you want me to tell you about my project? I mean, sure. It's just, it should be interesting. It's planning. Hello. I've been fighting for a sewage study in this town as one of my personal goals for years. For, for years, 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 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. So, and... The, the, the last thing I remember anything about Mac Shu was probably two years ago when he was, Mac was at one of the meetings and he said, my property is not for sale and I will not discuss it until after my wife dies. Well, that's the last I ever heard about it and I would like to have known something about it. Mr. Derry. Yeah, I guess this discussion you're having right now is probably one of the points that I wanted to make that that the HTC and should you should you should put a war warrant article in not dissolving it. I mean it, it, they do good absolutely good work. Don't get me wrong. And it's more bodies to do things which you probably could use. But maybe you would put into a warrant to change the reporting structure or that portion of whatever the charter was that states in it and I'm not the, the lawyer here, but just a, a simple article because with the addition of them working through you rather than after the fact, or you can come look if you want to see, with them working through you, that integrates your total planning capability. And that was my, 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 my first bitch, was that you're, you're getting sidetracked, and you're getting this group of, doing good work, don't get me wrong, they're doing good work, but you're getting sidetracked and pushed away into corners and, and pockets and silos, or whatever you want to call them. So I would like to see, you know, you step up, and, and we have a little warrant change, and maybe the people won't want to do it. Maybe they'll argue for it, or who knows what it'll come to. But at least step forward. There's nothing wrong with the HDC who forms a planning function of working with the planning board as a separate entity, but a reporting entity. Right. All well, the more reason we should have a planning director who's coordinating all Whatever. the land use and reporting planning. to the reporting to the planning board. It should be you guys should right. be up here, and the rest should be the right. umbrellas. It, whatever. In terms of planning purposes, I absolutely agree. And you know, we, you know, throughout all this MAPC stuff, we incorporate as much as we can and try to disseminate information to everyone. In terms of one thing we do and can do by statute is is purchase property and development if we want, which needs to be needs to be a separate piece because those any development is probably going to have to come before this board. Anyways. Which is why there needs to be uh, some separation in that in that realm. But we're only talking about reporting, not authority. Okay. Oh, no, no, I, I, I understand. And it, because if you're going to have an overall plan for whatever it is that you're doing, a battleship, you know, the other guy that runs the, the guns and the other guy that runs the radar, I mean, you got to talk to each other. And <clears> somebody <throat> has to tell you when to shoot, okay? <laughs> And that's what I don't see here, okay? Some guy over here says, well, I see how he's talking. Boom. <laughs> I forgot the captain. Oh, I don't want to shoot that one. 
I'm being facetious, but I, I really do think that one of the first steps in getting s some, some teeth into this board so that you can have an overall plan and integrate things as they come along is you've got to start bringing these things in. And the, the HDC and the planning director, I, I probably agree that you need one, okay, that should be under the auspices of the planning board. And so I would start that right up because you, I, again, the, the sidewalk, right? A few feet up from that, you've got another problem, which is the pool sidewalk crossing. And just for information, as an aside, I have already approached uh, Superintendent Harvey to discuss three things. One is, is the permission for the town to use the parking lot because we do have school in summer session there. That is the ADA requirement. Two, I believe that there's a liability. That if you do allow them, those kids running across the street, um, can they, you know, is there liable to the school department if, if you do put the pool in and you have these kids running back and forth, does it need a light or whatever and so forth? And that's all on the York reverse. But at least somebody, ha somebody has to approach the school officially. That should be you, not me. Okay? I've done it because I'm working with the Blue Ribbon Committee. That was just a little sideline note. Thank well, you. Isn't there also a crosswalk problem with the entrance to the playground? Yes. You now have increased the, the playgrounds and all these people coming. <laughs> the biggest problem we got, there is no parking because it is a wetlands and I've double checked that out. Okay. And if you take your tape measure, and I didn't get arrested, but I did take my tape measure. <laughs> and I walked from the edge of the pond out. A hundred feet, there's no parking. That's in the middle of the road where the, the hundred feet is. So you've got that additional problem. You've got a, a, you've got a, a boundary line problem, which is going to come up. Okay. Uh, because the, you've been using <laughs> the schooling field, the schooling, about two acres of the schooling field, which you shouldn't have been using, no. and so you're out of zoning, whatever. Um, the, the, this, this, this whole thing about the, this crosswalk, does it need a light, does it not need a light, so forth and so on. Ten months of the year, they say you're going to use it. Well, wait a minute, school's in session. You're definitely not going to be able to use the parking lot past the summer session period even if the school says so. So I will be talking with Dr. Harvey tomorrow as a, and I will bring that subject up because I would like an answer about what he feels. He's probably going to say yes to what legal for the I think the 100 foot boundary is long. You can have parking probably within 50 feet of the wetlands. And that'll be up to the CONCOM. And, you know, well, I don't know. I always thought it was 100. I mean, it's, no. It's, that's uh, their jurisdiction. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Oh, okay. I forget where it is in town. Like 20, 25, 25, 25 foot, no foot no no. Whatever. 50 foot no disturbs. All right. It's an offer to myopia to buy two acres. Approach the planning board know that. You know, I do. Just one closing thought. Now, things like crosswalks. I've been through crosswalks. That's a state highway. Who's going to approach the state to talk about cross crosswalks? Is I already better? have, Ed. Hmm? I already have. I've already talked to people at the state. Why are you? Because I'm your town planner, I'm your staff. Who asked you to do it? The HDC? Well, who asked? Well, I, I, like I said, I, the HDC asked you. There to do are it? two. No. Or the no. selectmen asked you to do it. Neither. Well, I have else, three. You, you I have them? three plans. Three applicants coming in. I said we have a plan. We have crosswalk issues. I'd like to coordinate one permit review with the state. DPW gave me the name of the woman he works with in District 4, and I called her up, and she said, I will help you out. That's what I do as your staff. Right. At some point, you also have to trust staff. That's why you no, have I, I, I would say, uh, you're all right, all right so far. <laughs> but having gone through crosswalk hell in Essex, I'm very well aware that, that I lost two crosswalks, and I've never been able to get them back, and I'm really irritated with the state about it, but that's beyond the point. Is, is it's their purview and their attitude is it's us highway and we'll do as we damn please. Well, that's, that's their, not the attitude she quote. gave me at all. My point is, and I criticize you for it in a pleasant way, <laughs> is that it would have been nice to have a notation from your staff that you talk about that you have approached the people on the crosswalk because I've been losing some sleep over. 
<laughs> Not much. But it's it's our. <laughs> this is the night we're talking about your plan. This is the first time you had your plan before you. It identifies those things, and sometimes. What like, plan are you talking? About? This, this one. Downtown. This that one way. that was on. You know, it's been on your agenda twice. It's on your website. It's it's a part of your planning department function. That grant was written through the planning department with Wem with Wenham's planning department as well. Can and you make a she and I, the planner in Wenham, are working together. They very much would like to see a crosswalk at the end of Linden connecting over by Henderson's and to finish that sidewalk to your downtown, to open up your downtown, and that's a Wenham piece, but she and I are going to work together now that we have it in writing. This is what helps us do our jobs. I, I can't print that. I told you, I have copies, but I, I need to order some. Because okay. right. you when you get a them? copy, could I have a copy? Yeah. I, have I have like three. Okay. My, my, my paper bill is so big that, that only Peter has more paper Christine, than I have. I would yes. say, <laughs> this is the first time I've heard that this is an accepted plan that we're implementing. It, 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 no, it's no. just a, it's just in writing. It just is in writing. It's not it was, been accepted. It was a public discussion, but... The, they just I think the process, this. this is their But I think what the planning board would like to know is when should we be going through the elements of that plan? Because uh, I think there are a lot of things to be discussed in it, some of which I like, some of which I don't. Well, if, if your board agrees, then with Ed can put that on the agenda when we, we have room. Let's do it. You, know, you notice what's happening here, though, is the agenda just keeps expanding with more and more items, uh, and we keep falling farther and farther behind because things get pushed off. So we need to pick what it is we're focusing on because we want to control everything, but we don't have time to do half the things we want to control. Well, just recently there's been a lot of activity. I mean, this planning well, exactly, director is... Exactly. It, we need to so. be focusing because everybody's complaining that they don't, they're not informed, they're not in control, they're not managing, but we keep taking on more and more. Yeah. I printed the plan out, if that's the downtown plan, but I never knew it was the downtown plan. I thought it was a study. It and is so a study. It's so not a plan. It was, as she said, if we're starting to... Recommendations. It's well, recommendations. It's a is this a draft or is it, or is it there? Do we have an application before the state for crosswalks it's, or don't it's, we? Yeah. It's a Rick, I'll tell you how you... It's not a draft. We, it's the first time we saw it, it's a draft from... we. It arrived on our doorstep. We, I've read it. We've all read it. It has some recommendations in it. Some of those recommendations are things that people are thinking about or actually came into play as one of the things they presented were potential suggested design guidelines that the planning board might want to consider to adopt. We, even had, we haven't even had time to have that discussion. It just happened to land on Christine's desk when Cumberland Farms came in and said, well, we've got this plan. We want to talk about the design of this plan. And she goes, guess what? Here's something you want to take a look at. It has some recommendations for potential design guidelines. This stuff's all dynamic. It's happening faster than we can keep up with this. Rick, there is a solution to that. Two fellas down south saw it. There's a they were buying watermelons in Miami and selling them in Atlanta. And they were paying for a dollar from them in Miami, and a, they were selling them for a dollar in Atlanta. And they said, what's our problem? And they solved it by getting a bigger truck and driving faster. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that, we've got a minutes to approve. Everybody's read the minutes for February 4th. Are we not doing the zoning no. bylaw? 2014. I don't know if I, I, I put the minutes on there. I don't think I sent them to you. No. Um, only because I, I had some, there was a long conversation and I wanted to double check um, how I so we'll quoted people. So let's yeah. right. I think I did not send them to you. Zoning bylaws. Zoning bylaws, I'm sorry. Number four, board will discuss a plan to revise several bylaws. Revisit. But revisit. Revisit. I don't have my glasses on board. This was one that um, Ed, I asked you to put on. We've, we've had a few things on the agenda, um, and um, in particular, there's, there's two things that I've been working on, um, and I'd like to have your board have a fall town meeting for zoning. And the accessory, accessory units and apartments, um, 
I, we've talked about revising it. The zoning board's been on board. The affordable housing trust would like to see us consolidate the four laws into one. I gave you the materials for January. You got busy talking one night and didn't delve into the details. You bumped it till February. It keeps getting bumped. But the accessory units, um, it's something the zoning board would like to see resolved and, and amended and updated to help people with housing in this town. So that's one bylaw I would like to work on. And Does we it have, have to go to town meeting? Yes. Fall. We have a fall town meeting. All right, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't the fall town meeting a special meeting? They it's tend not the to be annual more, meeting. Correct. And, the annual and meeting the is spring meeting is usually budgets. Not, you know, this may not be grounds for a special meeting. In other words, uh, special meetings are supposed to be for emergency type issues. Right. This is not an emergency type issue. No, we do zoning all the time. And I know we do it all the time. It doesn't mean it's it's, it's no. correct to do it that I way. I think that as far as it's I know that they have it. It's not a time. That's what I'm saying. It's a right. special town meeting. Not you a want to chime in to, to, on this one, uh, Jeff? Because I think as a selectman, you should have some sense of what's a special meeting and what's an annual meeting. Well, no, I think you're right. And I think there's more of a focus on 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 looking at that. We, we've gotten into the trend where just automatically every six months we're, right. we're going to a town meeting. Yeah. I think people want to revisit that and go back to the more strict well, definition. But you'll get more people turning out if we put a couple of zoning bylaws on there. So. <laughs> well, it, whatever the, the selectmen decide, at the, next, at the next town meeting, I think we could be ready with a couple of zoning recommendations. And one of them will be the accessory unit bylaws. I've been working on it. I'll continue to work on it. The other one is what's recommended in this downtown plan. They're recommending taking the Willow Street overlay and applying it to the entire business district yeah. with a few conditions. They would like to add a design review component and there's also, um, they're proposed in this plan, he, he recommends a density of eight units per acre, which is the density that you have in your downtown area right now. And actually, your Willow Street overlay doesn't have a density at all in it. Um, I don't know if you noticed that in your bylaw, the way it's written. Um, Who's they? This is just the, this recommendation from this plan. I didn't, I didn't you know what you're about. But I didn't essentially, in order to promote development, economic development and housing in the downtown, you've only allowed that mixed use, whether you have commercial on one floor and residential on top, in four parcels. Other than that, any business owner can only have one apartment above, not two. It's not allowed. So this would enable, and we've denied a couple people the opportunity to expand. Part, some of it's due to septic and some of it was due to your bylaws. Or not elevators. <coughs> um, elevators is a different feature. That's, that's usually money that, that sends that going. I know, but, the, but some of the blocks that wanted to put um, apartments upstairs, we said they couldn't do it because there was no facilities for an elevator. handicap access. And until we but, get a septic study, it doesn't seem to me we have much to, to talk about. Well, the, the bylaw, I mean, the septic, again, that's a different issue than your bylaw. This is a use issue. I would recommend that so, we can get these issues out on the table, mm -hmm. not coming in cold and getting a discussion at the meeting, but introduce it earlier. And uh, you've got a number of things that you've been working on, and you have a lot of notes. I think you ought to send us some sort of a schematic or these are the questions that we're wrestling with the you know the, the new uh, housing apartment bylaw uh, I've got a lot of experience with it I'd love to, to go back and forth work on the yeah. I mean I'll, I'll take you know usually I take one or two people up to help me with you know on the side working on a project with bylaws mm -hmm. Claudia has come in to sit down on the accessory units but we need to get it back before your board um, you do have a bunch of permits coming through. You'll be very busy in the next uh, two months with permits. We can meet with that out like we did. But at some this point this year. summer, I would like to have you do some public, some discussions, and then the workshops for zoning. Well, I'd just like to get an outline of the issues. I've got, yeah, I'm, we've got, I've got a bunch of stuff that she gave me because the, the, the accessory thing is just so, so many iterations. What's an apartment, how many units, refrigerator, stoves, whatever. It's it's complicated. I know it. So we, we, wanna, it we can purpose. work. Well, <laughs> we can work on it outside of this. Have you got the demolition delay bylaw? The demolition and delay bylaw. The demolition delay has three or four questions that need a discussion in front of a, a crowd. When you find a yep. place in our okay. calendar, we'll it's, it, it can go with these, you know. But I think this summer we've got to 
realistically dig into a couple of bylaws that you've talked about. We've begun the work on them. Um, and one of them, again, is it's, it's worth reading through this to think it through. There are some recommendations here you might agree or not agree. So. And that's on top of Canterbrook, Cumberland Farms, and Patton, and the pool. Right. As I said, we've got way too much on our agenda to be able to handle any of these competently. So we need to be picking priorities. I, th I think a big question in my mind about the patent thing is that they want to bring something, a developer, before town meeting, to the town meeting. And there is no real organized committee to review the various options. And there I tried to point this out in the patent advisory committee meeting. You know, there isn't enough time to even compare and contrast applications which are due when in like two weeks or something. So so anyway, let's not go down. But that. the planning board isn't gonna have any say no, in it. I understand. Okay, I understand. so you I understand. There's so understand. much going on. This is why we're all having trouble keeping on top of all of it because it's all evolving so quickly in different forums. We can't even we we have a hard time reporting because it's happening so fast we're catching up with it. You guys are going, well, what the hell's happening? And it's happening outside things that we don't easy know going on. Solution. And it's like, it's very a very easy solution. Yeah. We do it all the time with the school committee. You've got enough bodies, get some more. No, you, Wait, but you, you have the point. You have, as a board, the right to, to appoint a subcommittee. No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. no, 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 stop. What you have at the school committee is a professional management staff that actually works full time to manage the enterprise. We don't. So um, that's, so that's the not what I'm suggesting. Uh, we could have a zillion subcommittees. We still have the same problem. So you allow your subcommittee that you appoint to go handle the majority of the shoveling. You bring back the topics and you vote on them. Come on, it's setting up an organization. It's setting up a, a structure. Right. So don't tell me you've got too many because you're just a little town and you've got all these people. Fine. That's bad. I guess the and board members would be happy to set up a uh, well, volunteer for something. In fairness to that suggestion, we did that with the first Canterbrook application. Uh, Peter assigned Rob and I to do handle the traffic aspect of it. Uh, and I forget who else was handling what else, but Rob and I went out and met with the police chief, and and, and the traffic study part of it was was well done and, and well appreciated and handled by us as a Sub subcommittee. That's true. So there is some thought there. I'm ready to go home, but... Okay. Uh, well, the last one is a discussion of cap capital, That's number two. <coughs> number two, discussion of budget and capital overlay. Oh. Did, at the last meeting, I had mentioned to you that that um, $12,000 right. holdover from the 2004 master plan was going back to the general fund, um, unless you quickly act to repurpose it in some way. And I would like to see you go and do an electronic uh, compilation of all the paperwork that's upstairs, or as much as you can do upstairs. I mean, it's a lot of work to do that. But you got to get started in some way, because at some point, because it's holding all those files, which nobody's going to be able to access pretty soon, because it's very confusing. Um, if we can put it into a computer, I think we're going to be way ahead of the game. Claudia, can we? Could we? Could we? At least target it for. I mean, if we lose you, and they have this new director, could we keep that fund? It's not staff. It, it was a capital item, well, and it has to be a capital. It kind of has to say a capital item, but it's you know. It's, well, not, it's not personnel. All right, why don't we just uh, repurpose it for zoning um, bylaw reorganization, and that can be the placeholder, and then we'll decide what yeah, we want to do with it. Good, brilliant. That's a good idea. Right? That I was like the that. most brilliant thing you said. So you want to make a motion to, I mean, I, like I said, the, the finance director. Make it a, make it a motion. Wait, 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 wait. I make a motion that we repurpose the capital outlay yeah, budget for uh, zoning uh, consultant to reorganize our zoning bylaws. Right. Before we make uh, any second, I'd like to hear what Christine has to say about... Well, I like I said, I upstairs in Town Hall, we 
we do need, I mean, records management, I, they've had the structural engineer here a couple times. And nobody of the other people that work up there has the time in their day to consolidate Board of Health building, CONCOM, and planning files. Um, none of us do, unless you're paying us to come in on a Saturday, and I don't think anybody who works here wants to come in on a Saturday to do filing. But the, that's, uh, a, that's a town, that's a town management function. It is. It, it, so the um, planning board why we would the planning board would appropriate? I understand the problem. It's town money. If if you talk with some of the people in town, they would say that money was given to you by the town. It's it's in your master plan to consolidate and coordinate functions, and it's town money. So yes, for right. studies. But if you want it for something, the, what, what we, you, I have a motion the on the table. Yep. There is no debate. Yep. Uh, there is a second to that motion. We either vote on it or not. No, we got discussion at this point. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> discussion. Any discussion? Any discussion? Who seconded? Peter. Peter. Peter did. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second.